Welcome back to Daytime on Rogers TV. It's uh, the proverbial kid in the candy store, Ken Eastwood, going to Forest City Surplus. Better yet, when Forest City Surplus comes to me, Tim Hodges, marketing director for Forest City Surplus. Tim, thank you so much for being here. Thanks, Ken. Uh, and I guess things must be just starting to get kind of busy at Forest City Surplus because Christmas is an awesome time at the store. Yes, yeah, we've got lots of gift ideas and uh, lots of winter stuff. We try and be a year-round store, so... I hate that uh, I hate that we have to do this, but you're right. We do. We are going to get to a lot of cool winter stuff. But first of all, I want to ask you about this guy because uh, as you were setting this up, I was trying to figure out. Obviously, this is a, a chess set, but this is a really unique chess set. Tell me about this. Yeah, for for anyone who's my age, uh, <laughs> we'd remember the Street Fighter series. So yeah. um, this is a, a limited edition uh, Street Fighter set they set up, and sadly for. People like me, it's now been 25 years since Stop. Street Fighter Can't came be. out, and uh, yep. But to celebrate, they've uh, they made these very detailed pewter uh, chess wow. pieces, and uh, it's a great set for anyone who's a Street Fighter fan. And uh, limited number produced, so uh, if you are uh, planning on getting it for someone, uh, all their all their buddies aren't probably not going to be able to get one. No, exactly. That's a definitely a, a limited edition. The detail on the uh, on the pieces is so unique. Uh, that would be my only problem. I'd have to, it would take me so long to figure out which ones are which. Yes, yes. <laughs> like that, which... That, that, is, that is one of the problems there, but uh, you know, probably get used to it. Exactly. So it makes a nice decoration for any man cave. So you said that uh, this is a, obviously this is a limited edition. How many of these would you have in the store? Uh, well, we only got a dozen yeah. of them, and they only produced five thousand of them. Wow. So that it really is a limited edition. Yes. All right. Uh, let's move on to that terrible word that you mentioned off the top. Uh, winter and it's not winter yet, but it sure feels like it outside. It's going yes. to be eventually. Uh, and you brought in just a, a few things, but do you bring in kind of new things for winter, like uh, kind of on a regular basis? Yes. Yeah, we sell a lot of uh, because we're an army surplus, or we sell a lot of heavy duty army sure clothes for because uh, the army's got. They're the only ones that actually go up to the Arctic, really. So <laughs> pretty much, right? Um, yeah, so, we've got so, their heavy-duty stuff, and so would these be military-grade snowshoes? Yes, these are surplus U.S. Army uh, snowshoes uh, made out of magnesium. They were originally designed for to help the U.S. Army prevent uh, the Soviets from climbing over the pole, but. Uh, for anyone looking to get out and uh, doesn't want to be cooped up in their house all winter, that is a great way to get out snowshoeing, out, enjoy the outdoors even though uh, it's kind of cold out. And you know what's fun? Uh, I mean, you can get all different kinds of snowshoes, but the great thing about the Forest City Surplus, and you know the, the chess set is another example of this, things are unique. I mean, yes. who has U.S. military snowshoes? Not yeah, a, not not, not people, very many, right? No. So that would be that would be a cool thing to have, uh, and it even says like U.S. right on them, so you know it's got to be. How heavy are they? They're fairly light. Actually, they are pretty light. Yeah, yeah even though they're as big as what they are, they're fairly light. Well, and that's the other thing. You have, uh, I mean, you've got to have the right snowshoe for for each individual person, right? I mean, it's all about uh, weight distribution. Yes, right? so yes. A guy like me would need a, a bigger one, I think, like that, right? Yep. Uh, do you have a pretty good selection of snowshoes? Uh, yes, we we normally uh, we'll carry the class or the more modern ones as well, and then these that some people prefer the kind of older style. Yeah. Okay. And if snowshoeing is uh, is not your speed, if you need something a little more exciting, a little more adventurous, uh, you brought the, uh, the snow skates. So yes. So what if, what what are these guys? And we got to take a look at the bottom here too, because this is the key, right? Yeah. There's a metal edge on them, so. The idea is uh, with these, they're designed for uh, basically skiing. Right. But they give you a little more agility. You're able to go a little slower down the scope or slope. So anyone who is interested in learning how to ski but is worried about the speed and injuring themselves, right. these let you uh, go a little slower down the slopes. You can avoid people and yeah. trees and other objects better with them. So we have them in from kid size up to adults so I like you how you say you know if you're if you're learning I think I would learn to ski first on big skis and then go cuz I feel like these would be a, require a lot more balance and agility but uh, have you tried these I haven't tried them I've <laughs> tried I've I've only done regular skiing two or three times and 
I found it kind of scary just because I yeah. just trying to move and learning how to move on skis is a lot of work where something like that looks more like a boot and you can actually make steps where with skis exactly. it doesn't normally work that way. Uh, FCSurplus.com, you always promise that you, uh, you'll you bring me something to play with. As I try and fly this guy as we head our way out, uh, tell me about the, uh, the top model, the X-Series here. Yeah, so... You know, you want a jet fighter, you, or you want uh, something to teach the kids how to uh, how to actually. Oh, uh, oh. <laughs> okay, there we go. FCSurplus.com is the website, or 519-451-0246. We're back with more daytime right after this. Whoa. Welcome back to daytime on Rogers TV. We're having a blast here playing with some remote control airplanes. Controlled and easy flight. That's the key, right, Tim? Oh, Absolutely. now control. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, a controlled landing. Yes, nice. yes. Gotta like that. All right, yeah. uh, let's just recap. What is what is this guy? You guys have like a crazy lineup of remote control vehicles too, don't yes, you? Yes, yeah. So this is a uh, remote control jet fighter. Uh, it's great if anyone's... Uh, got kids, you want their, every parent wants your kids to be a yeah. doctor or a pilot. Well, here's a chance if you want your kids to become a pilot, they can learn about flight and have fun while doing it, so. Yeah, kids, right, Tim. <laughs> yeah, Tim. Uh, all right, so let's, uh, let's move on to some other stuff, so maybe some gift ideas for the kids. Uh, and you've got a great lineup of gifts for, uh, for dad as well. Uh, yes. Power tools included? Yes, yeah, this is a miter saw. This is a great gift for dad. You know, guys always love power tools, but uh, women get the benefit of uh, while uh, they want those projects done around the house, this is the tool that uh, will let your man do those projects. Or her too, you know? Yes. I know there are a lot of women who, uh, who love to do that stuff too, and uh, myself included. I'm always working on my, uh, my workshop. Uh, what, kind of, uh, what kind of selection? I mean, does, uh, since it is Forest City Surplus, does that selection kind of change? Sometimes you'll bring in uh, new appliances, new tools, things like that? Yes. Yeah, it changes quite a bit, and uh, but it's always anything we can get at a good deal. That's that's, that's our, our the reason why we bring in the tools. If it's a good deal, then it'll be there. Okay, let's go back to the toys for a sec, because well, I don't even know if this qualifies as a toy, uh, but you've got, uh, what are these eggs? So. Basically, it's a fun thing for the kids. They put the uh, eggs in water, and out pops uh, a couple of days later. They'll be uh, we got different ones. One's a snake, an alligator, uh, an alien, <laughs> an alien. Like that there. So, so you so stick they, it in water, and then what? The egg just kind of slowly cracks, cracks and dissolves until yeah. until and then inside your toy picks it or it comes out. Okay, uh, I don't want to ask you a, a dumb question, but. It's not an actual alligator, is it? No. Okay, no. good. Because that, <laughs> you know, that might violate a couple of a couple of rules, but that's fun. And aliens yeah. too. I like that. Very cool. Um, once again, going back to what we were talking about uh, earlier, it's all about really unique stuff. Stuff that you are gonna have a hard time finding anywhere else. Yes. yes. Where Where do you guys find these things? Uh, well, we've got over <laughs> 120 suppliers that, uh, and we're we're always constantly looking around, trying to figure out what's you know, what's unique, what can we get that you can't find at the big box store? Like, for example, Santa's Magic Key. Yes. What is that? What is this so, guy? So if you live in an apartment, mm -hmm. you May don't... I? Yeah, go ahead. You don't have a uh, chimney for Santa to come down. You can oh. put that outside your door, and it's a key so Santa can uh, get in your front door. So what do you... you ha would this hang this on your you front... You hang uh, that on the front door, the doorknob. Okay, and, and then uh, Santa will have the key to get into your house. Yes, and leave oh, the presents. That's genius. Instead of having to uh, use his magic to come down the chimney, yes. he can just come in the... That's way easier. Santa yes. must love this. Yeah, no soot to clean up. Cuts exactly. down on the dry cleaning. Uh, all right, now let's go to uh, the all-important Christmas morning. Uh, Christmas morning in the uh, Eastwood household is only one part about opening Christmas presents. The other really important aspect is pancake breakfast, and that's yes. that's a, a Eastwood family tradition. And you just made it a whole lot easier with this guy. How does yes. this work? So you put the uh, your pancake mix in the actual container. Yep. There's a button on the side, so when you get this over your grill, you can then pour it out, 
um, helps cut down on the mess. I know the re main reason why I don't make a lot of pancakes is I got a bowl and a ladle and I'm trying to ladle it over and it's always spilling out and yeah. it's a giant mess, but this will help you cut down on that mess. I love it and it's really convenient. Plus it's fun because anytime you can um, make pancakes with a machine that has a trigger, that's, that's just fun, <laughs> right? <laughs> well, what guy doesn't want to play around with a trigger? So. Exactly. Uh, who's, whose job is it, Tim, to, to try all this stuff? I mean, you guys, I mean, it's important you guys to know that uh, what you're selling has good value, so you've got to, I mean, uh, well, well, I, have, I just have visions of Tim in the store playing with remote control airplanes and cars and, uh, and power, power tools all day. <laughs> is that how it works? No. Um, <laughs> well, we each get a chance to play around with stuff from different areas. Uh, when we're putting stuff on the website, that's a good chance for us to actually, we actually, when we put stuff on our website, we actually, a lot of times, yeah. we'll test it out, make sure it's good, so we can better describe the product, because mm -hmm. a lot of our customers want that full description on the website, so... Well, I think that's what one of the keys to Forest City Surplus is too. Your website is great. Um, if you're, I mean, we all know that most of us, when we shop, we shop online first before we even set foot in the store. And a everything is on the website. Absolutely. For, you know, I've been looking at running that for 11 years. And, you know, earlier it was, you know, people coming out with printouts and they'd come out and look around for the stuff. And yeah. now it's they're looking on their iPhones and, trying to find the stuff, you know, that they see on the website. Yeah. And, and you know, and taking that one step further, uh, I mean, you can buy stuff directly from the website as well. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. You can have it shipped to you. So if you don't want to run around in this snow or we can have it available <laughs> for a pick up when the snow does melt and you can drop by. That's a good sell when you say you don't have to go out into the snow. You don't need snowshoes. No. But if you do need snowshoes, you can order them from uh, from yes. Forest City Surplus. Yes, and yes. Have, see now the, yeah. I think and then the UPS it. driver, he can snowshoe up to your house. <laughs> I love it. Uh, FCSurplus.com is the website. Well, uh, Tim, thank you so much for this and uh, we'll be seeing you soon inside the store. All right, thanks, Ken. Tim Hodge is Marketing Director for Forest City Surplus. As I mentioned, fcsurplus.com is that website. Remember, you can do all of your Christmas shopping right there on the website or uh, head down to 1712 Dundas Street or 519-451-0246.